A cluster of quakes on the West Coast has scientists concerned tonight. Could something bigger be on the way? CBS 13's Greg Ligon spoke to a professor at UC Davis to get some answers about what these small quakes really mean. Greg? Yeah, Adrian, over the last few weeks, these small tremors have been reported along the west coast of Northern California up to Washington State. Scientists tell us it's due to a phenomenon called slow slip, and it's happening north of us out in the Pacific. The uh, Juan de Fuca plate is what it's called, nicknamed, uh, is sliding under North America, and sometimes it's locked. And sometimes it slips, but when it slips, it's building up stress elsewhere on the fault. When that kind of stress builds up and is released, it can lead to so-called megaquakes, like the one that rocked Japan and caused a massive tsunami in 2011. UC Davis professor Jim McLean says slow slip is somewhat new and not completely understood, but could be a precursor to larger seismic activity. And these things occur where you have a locked plate at relatively shallow depths where one plate is sliding under another and then you get release and it's, it's shallow enough that it actually shifts the seafloor. Megaquakes of magnitude nine or more are rare. It's the smaller ones on land that tend to concern most people. Professor McLean says at some point it's likely there will be significant seismic activity along the Bay Area's Hayward Fault. And that has the potential of shaking us pretty well here in the Central Valley, much more than the Loma Prieta earthquake. This building on the UC Davis campus is currently being upgraded to better withstand the next big quake that affects the Central Valley. Even though earthquakes are a fact of life in California, some say they are ill prepared for the next big one. I know we, there's always the potential of being an earthquake, but um, we just haven't thought much about it. And experts say the best thing you can do to prepare is to have an emergency plan and kit, which includes lots of water and non perishable food. All right, Greg, thank you.